Thank you for visiting the Coin Series channel again. Who are you with? Your vote enter in the option community. Optoin AXRP. Option B REPL. Option C SEC. Having reinvested in Bitcoin and other cryptocurrencies following five years of growth, we will be analyzing the recent wall shell on this episode. What is HSBC examining in this case? Tokenizing gold is an interesting concept to think about. We are talking about clarity here. Furthermore, the regulatory policies, Ripple, and things they are considering and how they could be useful subjects included in the white paper were not included in the first video of the day. Then, I guess it's time to get down to brass tacks. The market capitalization of cryptocurrencies was enhanced by a 2.3% increase, reaching 1 trillion 673 billion bitcoins. Reaching an aggregate of 43,470,800 Ethereum. For the sum of $2,042. The 1.28% rate for USDC and USDD is pouring in, and Emilian is getting 58 cents for his XRP. The hourly chart shows some progress, and it has risen 3% in the last 24 hours. That is precisely what we mean when we state that men cost 59 cents and 60 cents, respectively. The next figure to be studied is that one. When XRP regains its previous level, we can talk about the 66 to 70 cent range. Have everything you need ready. Feel free to disregard today's first video if you chance to miss it, the January newsletter is nearly ready for publishing. Free of charge, get in touch with Ripple Van Winkle. Free cryptocurrency advice to sign up for our newsletter, please enter your email address. As we embark on the bull run happening this year, we will talk about market circumstances and a cryptocurrency in which I have a lot of faith. You should expect to receive the newsletter early next week. According to experts, a 100 billion Bitcoin market wash is par for the course. I'm totally in. Hey, we've already talked about this. The research goes on to say that the current surge in the markets for highly leveraged digital assets is an indication of a good correction. Their mother and all of their relatives were on long. We can go back to our role as onlookers now that the longs have left, the change was for the better. I assure you, we will be back next week, and this whole liquidation thing will slip your mind. Going back to where we started is our plan. Despite the decline, the paper notes that experts are still anticipating a flood of Bitcoin ETF approvals by January 10. Less than 24 hours have passed since 100 billion cryptomarks vanished. For your information, gradually, everyone began to unwind. Their goal is to make you feel uncomfortable with this. I don't know how long you've all been trading cryptocurrencies, and you must know that. I took over this position in 2017. You would expect liquidations to be imminent when it appears like everyone in the crypto community and on crypto Twitter is getting cozy and forecasting a crypto bull run. You know this to be true. I'm very aware of that, it's 2017. With the liquidation, you are done. When does this end? Bitcoin prices are now anticipated to retrace between $40,000 and $50,000. I assure you that whenever we return to those pricing points, nobody will remember what transpired. Remember that in 2024, prominent figures in the financial industry are placing large bets on Bitcoin. Masari anticipates seeing the $600,000 Bitcoin Vanek, $275,000, etc., by 2024, as per these financial institutions' predictions. Bitcoin will have expanded substantially by then. Sari's analysts, who are expected to reach 100,000, will first highlight Bitcoin's dominance and resilience. They will then compare it to the early success of gold ETFs and the East, among other things. Focused on Bitcoin's semi-annual price swings, based on the cryptocurrency's outperformance compared to major assets and predicted ETF effect in 2023, they've set a more conservative target of around $80,000 for Bitcoin. Bitwise and other pragmatic issues are our main focus. We won't remain around 101.25 for long, but there could be a blow-off before we hit 150. $520,000, with no chance of success. 275 in all every single one, that won't happen. 
institutional investors must move their capital from traditional markets to the Bitcoin area for those statistics to materialize. I don't believe we've arrived yet. I don't see 602,775 cryptocurrencies having a market valuation, but I do see a total market size of $4 to $7 trillion. You know, I could have been totally incorrect. It is my deepest desire that I am entirely mistaken. Why don't we aim for 600,000 Bitcoin? In such case, a $20 XRP might be considered. It would make my day if the $20 XRP bet came to fruition. This report was made by Matrix Report clients and was followed by Bitcoin ETF, nevertheless, Matrix Port was unable to influence the media's extensive coverage, which was not in their favor. That is the exact phrase used by the originator. Furthermore, I concur with his assessment that the SEC's clearance of a spot Bitcoin ETF will attract further capital to the cryptocurrency market. The cryptocurrency market is about to get a significant infusion of much-needed capital from exchange-traded funds. We do not have access to any new funding in this area at the moment. He sits on the sidelines, watches as altcoins have massive price increases, and Bitcoin experiences a reversal in fortunes. We will continue to be trapped in the same old numbers until fresh money enter the market, even though this will increase oil production. There will soon be additional cash, and it is essential for us to go with it. Who is this guy? Throughout his lengthy post, he made numerous false assumptions and shown a great deal of confusion regarding Ripple and XRP. Though that may be an unpopular view, he thinks Bitcoin will outperform all other asset classes in the coming five years. That is not true, he is truly yours. I will inform you right away. Given the present price of $43, this might be the case. Nothing ever gets done, no matter how many times I vow we will. Thank you, Hermia, for getting us into an 86. As time goes on, XRP will outperform Bitcoin. Reclaiming its previous all-time high would be possible if XRP can reach $1.20. Nobody can deny it. Mysteries surround the origin of the clown, you guys. Still, he'll have to go back to the rock from which he came. The DJPH from DeVos, this is just mind-blowing. Stay with me for the rest of this. New tokenized gold platform launched by HSBC. Hence, HSBC, make gold a token. Representatives from HSBC will be meeting with Matejko soon to talk about tokenized assets. Matejko is clearly owned by Ripple. They have just branched out into tokenized gold. Something is going on between Matejko Ripple and HSBC. Ripple is the sole proprietor of the business, whatever that may be. One may even argue that HSBC is working with Ripple in some capacity. The fact that HSBC is working with Mateo is another possible addition. But ultimately, they're teaming up with Ripple, and HSBC is preparing something monumental. Trust me when I say that Mr. Universe was completely correct when he said this. If you must choose one cryptocurrency, be sure it has a solid legal foundation. Among them, only one is Crimson. Does it make sense now? Would I be right? Only the red cryptocurrency has a defined legal standing. I don't understand it. Pay close attention, it is totally irrational. But in the end, XRP will be more valuable than all of these assets, because of its solid legal foundation. The market has failed to account for that. However, when regulations surrounding cryptocurrency markets are tightened and laws are established, XRP is expected to shine. At Ripple, we are hard at work on a white paper that will lay out the rules for digital assets and blockchain in Korea. Here you may see X, a coin that GBC. Korea, a blockchain company, created in-house. The first of its type, GMAT welcomes both large-scale and clever small-cap retail investors. Very interesting. A blockchain company based in South Korea has released an acquisition white paper, and ripples are mentioned. That year, 2017, who led the bull run? Do you know who they were? On the contrary, XRP was born in South Korea. Maintain vigilance, because the short-term cryptocurrency market is highly unpredictable. Intended to profit from the site. Retesting at 55 cents appears to be the standard, at least according to it. 
Look at that. Retesting was successfully completed. We are turning around now that we are getting close to the 59 to 60 cent mark. Now that I'm feeling very certain, we can go back to the live coin watch. Near the bottom. You can see the certainty in my Bitcoin pin Twitter statement, which led to the extraction of $100 billion from these markets. It served you well, it annoys me. They were ecstatic, and now it aches. It grounded them and helped them get their thoughts in order. But it had to be done. There it was. This is it. It will appear as though this never happened when Bitcoin prices recover to the $40,000 to $48,000 range again. We will keep a constant pricing of 60 to 70 cents whenever XRP returns to that area. Yesterday, someone on my Discord server brought up the fact that XRP hit rock bottom on KuCoin at around 4040 cents in touch, so I'm quite sure that's when it started to fall. I promise you that if I woke up and discovered XRP back in the 47 region, I would invest whatever I have because I know where this market is going. With a price increase of 500% from its low point, XRP has experienced a stratospheric climb. Here, ROI is defined as return on investment multiplied by 6. That is what is going to happen. The top speed limit has already been decided. Things will get exciting once the price of XRP reaches its highest point ever. There has been zero XRP or price discovery since 2017. The time has elapsed, everyone. And now I can see clearly, the fascinating process of price discovery will attract institutional investors who will pour money into XRP this year because of its transparency. Today, it was all over. It would mean a lot to me if you could subscribe to my channel and rate it. Goodbye for now.